Namaste and welcome to Flutter Plus Upright tutorial series, episode 6. In the previous episode, we were able to set up user model as well as set up auth state so that we can check whether or not the user is successfully already logged in in the starting of our application. In this episode, we'll continue on. We will set up routes in our application and then we'll create a profile page where user can view their profile and also log out. So let us get started. Very first thing I'd like to do is inside core presentation folder, let's create a file called routes.dart. So in here, we'll again set up a class. So I'll be using named routes and for naming the routes, we use simple strings. Again, I'll use the trick from our last episode. I'll create a class with a static, static constant string variables, string properties that represent our path. We have bunch of routes. Let me just paste it here. So login, sign up, profile and home page. We have four, five routes for now, four routes for now. And let's create our routing function. Route. So for this, we need to import material. I'll be using material routing library. And here, let's return material page route. Let's send the settings and builder context. In here, what we'll use is switch case, switch route name so settings dot name will provide the route name route routing name used case profile profile paste we have not set it up yet we'll set up that next case home home page Sign up, sign up page, so both in default and login case will return login page, let me import the home page, so colon, import home page, profile page, we'll have to make it. Now inside auth presentation pages, let's create profile dot dot new file profile dot dot and in our profile page, we'll simply build a stateless widget. Let me import material then I've just set up a simple page with scaffold and single child scroll view with list uh, column. So we'll change that in a bit. So title will be profile. And let me remove all of this from the body. So let's remove this single child instead. We'll start with a consumer and type of auth state. So this consumer will provide us the user profile and in here if not is logged in if not logged in just simply return a container instead if user is logged in list view so 
will return a list view. Let's give it a padding of 16 points. Let's have a children center text So I'm just printing a text in the center that I'm using user's name. So sometimes user may not set up their name, only email and password may be there. So if there is no name, I'll just show empty string. Next, I'll show the email. So here I'm giving a size box of height 10. And again, Center child text email so let's make a height of let's say 30 points and here we'll provide a logout button raised button on trust I think log out Up. so log out button still we need to create a logout function in our auth state okay this should complete our profile page here let's import this profile page now in the auth state let us create logout function Asynchronous function. Sorry. Response. So for logging out, we'll just delete the current session so account dot delete session session id should be named so if you have saved if we have saved the session id we could have used that proper session id however we can just use the current is logged in false null notify listeners yeah we might also provide error message if logout failed so just for the sec notify listeners so we have our profile page we have auth state and we have logout function okay so let's connect all these together so what i would like to do is First, in our home page, I'll provide a profile icon so that user can log into profile page. So let's go to pages, general, home dot dot. Okay. And in here, in app bar, actions, icon button. Icon dot person on trust push named context so app routes dot profile so instead of typing the string here I'm again using the 
static variable from a class that way i'll not have to type in every time and there might not be the typo error so let's press the profile button nothing is happening i guess i need to hot reach oh sorry we have not provided the route it in our home dot dart in on generate route we need to provide app routes dot on generate route Okay, after this, uh, if we tap the profile, we can go to profile page. I think I have not provided child here, child text logout. Okay, now we are in the profile page. Now, if we press logout, we should get back to login page. Yes, we get back to login page successfully. And in login page, let's add create account button down here so that we can navigate to sign up page. So let's go to login page and below login button. Let's give a 20 point space and then outline button. create account on trust so we have already set up our route so push named app routes dot sign up okay now once we press this we should go to sign up page back let's test sign in login we get to the home page profile page back okay so in this episode we learn to set up routes in our application we properly set up routes so that user can view their profile page they can they can log out they can go to sign up from login page so this completes this episode see you in the next tutorial